Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel and I've got another book review for you. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and um, like this video if you like book reviews. Um, this one I've thoroughly enjoyed. It's The Book of the Magical Mythical Unicorn by, by Vakasha Brenman and Alfonso Colasono. Colasono. Sorry about that pronunciation. Hopeless. I am hopeless. Anyway, um, the magical, mythical unicorn. I know it's the wrong way down because it's the camera phone, but um, this is, if you like unicorns and if you really connect with them, um, then definitely this is for you. I've always loved unicorns and um, just thought their purity and their beauty and their healing power was something that was amazing to tap into. But also, um, being Scottish, um, the sort of coat of arms, we have a unicorn um, as uh, on a, and also on some coins and stuff, but it is seen as the Scots kind of almost totem animal. And uh, so I was interested if some of the, you know, the Scottish and English, Irish, Welsh stuff connecting to um, the British Isles would be in this book. And it certainly is, but there's more than that. So let's see. Um, Magical Mythical Unicorn is an anthology of esoteric knowledge, myths and legends about the most magical of beasts, the mythical unicorn. Utilising a global lens, the authors delve into the critical importance of the timeless unicorn across multiple cultures and spiritual traditions to display the transformat transformative energy of the unicorn and its larger effect on humanity's consciousness. No other mythological creature is enjoying as rapid an ascent into the public eye and consciousness as the magic uni magical unicorn. The unicorn is now a fixture in contemporary pop culture. People young and old are captivated by the magical legends and the mythical and mythology of the unicorn. Excuse me, stumbling a wee bit today. I'm a wee bit tired, but I wanted to get this done. Um, this book actually um, does have some um, really nice um, sort of pictures and um, just really nice stuff in it. Again, it is hardback, which is really nice for a special book like this. Um, there's the unicorn in British her heraldry. Um, so I went on knowing my own sort of feelings about the unicorn and also, you know, part of it, my, of my Scottishness being unicorn, um, as well. And, um, then I learned about the unicorn in India, the unicorn in China, the unicorn in East Asia, the unicorn in Middle East, the unicorn in Persia, which was really, really interesting, the unicorn in ancient Greek and Greece and Rome, in Europe, in Africa, in North America, in heraldry, in the arts, in astronomy and the zodiac, the unicorn's horn, the unicorn in the third eye, the unicorn in alchemy and the mystery schools. And um, so you can see that there's a lot more to learn um, about unicorns than um, what has maybe been in the, the forefront of consciousness, the, the sort of upswing of consciousness of the unicorn. Um, I love the unicorn connected to India. I thought that was amazing. Um, and also Persia. Um, love the aspect about um, you know the the sort of um, the way it appeared in coins in Scotland. I didn't know that at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say because it's quite a specific book. You only like this if you want to know about unicorns. <laughs> but if you know someone that you know maybe loves unicorns or is drawn to them. This would be, make a fantastic present. 
I absolutely adored it and it's definitely um, a book I will keep and um, keep going back to and referring to. Um, I think I've got more knowledge about the unicorn through this book than I have in many, many years and that's saying something because I think we've absor absorbed a lot about unicorns even from pop culture, from films, from Harry Potter, this, that and the next thing. Um, but to actually have each area of the world with its own myths and legends and the healing aspect and they're all based on similar things but they're all quite different as well so it's a very it's an educational book uh, and it's quite um it's quite straightforward it's not flowery um it's not um it's just people that obviously love unicorns and want to pass on not just a limited view of the unicorn so um i can't recommend this enough it's it's brilliant and i hope it does really really well i really do it's from mind body spirit um which is part of all books and it should be on all marketplaces amazons and uh, waterstones and whatever uh yep one last sentence on the last page on the book cover. How does the unicorn come into existence and what is its purpose? Why has humanity always been enchanted by the unicorn? That's what this book answers um, in quite specific detail. So if you like unicorns, this is one for you. Um, if you like the book reviews, please pass them on um, and uh, get, you know, the it's hard for authors to have their books um, out there and maybe a limited audience, particularly at a time where we've got a lot going on in the globe. So share this, share the book reviews. Let people know that these books are out there and um, let them know what they can enjoy because that's really important. These authors um, of the book reviews and also my own books, we put our heart and soul into our books and it's nice to see reviews and stuff getting passed on. Um, so please um, not just maybe listen to this or watch it, um, but consider passing it on to someone else that you might think would like to know about this particular book, particular book and others. So many blessings now. Bye.